Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. So what do you think about um, 6 9 coming home? Oh, God. Thank you, and, Bro. You put me there. Yes. Hold on. Shout out to my man, Jim. <laughs> hold now on. Now, now, now I'm going to shock the whole world. <laughs> hold Fuck on, that. though. That's but but let me just say. Your fucking shot. shot shoot your shot dickhead yeah baby episode five episode five <laughs> we in here man friday the 13th friday the 13th shit's man. getting a little scary out here shit's bro. getting spooky out here bro, first right. things first before we get into that though shout out our sponsor yeah, shout out our sponsor bro. my boy jr man shout out to jr listen man jr yo he brought us some exclusive bro this, this right here is the Crown Royal Peach. Hey. Limited edition. Limited edition. Like limited to where I, I ain't never seen it before, and I don't think you can get it right now. Shout out to my man JR. Shout out what, JR. What, what his company? Shout out Riverfront Moving and Storage. Riverfront Moving and Storage. All your sure. moving and storage needs. You need he some he storage, got you, man. You need some moving. That's Go my, guy. my guy. And JR. I and I can vouch for JR, man, because when I move studios. I hired him. You Great feel me? Dude. And he did it. Yo, they professional as hell, bro. They packed that truck up like no other. N- nothing moved in that joint. All <laughs> packed, padded, and ready to rock and roll. Yeah, exactly. So shout out JR. Shout out JR. My appreciate guy. you, bro. You my guy. You know what I mean? I appreciate the bottle. He came through uh, during the week. He was like, I got something for you, bro. Hey. Boom. <laughs> Gave us this exclusive, John. So, all right, you know what all I right. mean? So, let's, let's check this out. Let's Do check the unbox, it. actually, John. Yo, this look shit look going on. special. Look at this. You ain't Ooh. never seen the peach pouch. Not the peach pouch. <laughs> the peach know. pouch producer. Uh, uh, get that uh, up out of here, producer. Right. <laughs> Damn. This shit different. I'm, this going to be my little uh, accessory bag or something. Absolutely. little you know stash I mean? bag. Right. Yeah, man. So okay. yeah, man. Okay. Peach look good. I don't know if anybody's ever tried it. If you have, let us know. You know what I mean? And uh, shit yeah, different, bro. Different, man. Yo, and it seemed like we peach fans over here. We drinking Absolutely. all peach. Heavy on the peach. Straight up. So uh, yeah, so, you yeah, mean? This shit dif- difficult. A little difficult. I need a knife for this shit. Yeah, I mean, you touching that thing. I mean, I don't want no corona now. You uh, doing heavy on the touch it. All the coronas <laughs> out here, man. Throw corona, man. Speaking me. of, man. Speaking of the coronavirus, man, while Jump get that open, man, I just want to say, first things first, Um, just want to start by saying, I just hope, like, you know, but all jokes aside, you know, viruses. I feel like I'm in a Resident Evil phase one. Oh, bro, um, bro. Like, it's just on some weird shit because, uh, like, uh, it's just a virus. Someone eating bat blood. Craziness. We Next don't even time. know, though. They don't even know if that's really where it came Miss from. Miss me with the bats. <laughs> shit crazy, Eat your man. bat well done, you turtle. Um, <laughs> anyway... Uh, yeah, man, it's just crazy that a plague and an epidemic has spread so rapidly, so right. fast. And it's crazy. Um, Nobody took it serious till yesterday. Lot of conspir- there was a lot of conspiracies where people weren't taking it serious, government control and this and that. But once I start seeing the NBA shut down, uh, every sport shut down and mass gatherings shut down, it's something to worry about. And not even even if it isn't something to worry about, even if you don't get it, whatever the situation is, it just should be an opportunity for you to be thankful. See, that's the key. Facts. Because, you know, people that did get it and the people that died from it, you know, that that's, that's, that's just something, you know, you n- never would have thought. You might have been living a healthy life or... Whatever yeah. the situation. And we don't even know like who's dying. Like they keep saying it's older people with problems. And right. We don't even know all the facts yet, bro. It's still and it's Friday the thirteenth for y'all. You know, I don't know when you guys are gonna get this. Yeah. But you're gonna get it. ASAP. It hit hard yesterday. Right. And grocery stores were going crazy. And we just had a state of emergency today. Yeah, um, bro. Donald Trump issued a state of emergency. I went to the grocery store out. last night late, bro. The line was out the door. Hopefully we that don't get on a scary. national quarantine. A quarantine, you can't come out the crib. Yeah, but then yeah. what are we going to do about food and all that? Well, you bro. get 48 hours to get what you got to get. You got to stay in the house for 14 days. Cops going to be outside. Make sure you can't, don't go outside. 
It's going to be madness. Yeah, that's in the way. But Italy is on national quarantine, so they on that type time. I ain't even going to hold you. But um, it's crazy that it is what it is. But bro, um, right, bro. Yeah, so that's that. So what um, you think about like all the sports and all that shutting down and whatnot? Yeah, it's just it just it's it's that's what set the tone. I feel like that set the um, tone, you know. But I say don't be a Gobert or whatever the fuck his name is. He's a weirdo. He got up and touched all the mics. Said, "Yo, yeah, no, Corona." And t- it's crazy. Turns out he I, got bet, it. I bet you he regrets doing that. At this yeah, point. just turtle. He's n- now he's just known as a turtle for the rest of his career. <laughs> just a biscuit. <laughs> Oh, man, that and was out of pocket. He was the first one to get it, dog. Oh, what a my weirdo. God. Shut the whole NBA down. <sighs> Touching shit. You weird. Just, Yo, just, that's like, that was like instant karma. Like, heavy on the weirdness. It's crazy. Um, but so, yeah, how, that's that. Yeah, but yeah, let's uh, shoot a shot. Oh, and, yeah, we're uh, going to shoot a shot to the coronavirus and stay yeah, safe let's, for the coronavirus. Yo, let's, everybody take the precautions, man. It's not a joke. Let's Wash get your it. hands, all that. Hey. Shoot your shot. Oh, that's apple juice. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that tastes good, baby. It's not bad. It's not okay. bad. bad. Yeah. Hold on. What was our last shot? I mean, what was our last bottle? Ciroc. Peach Ciroc. What, what, what we rating it? What we rating the Diddy Water? Oh, I'm going to give that a... Um, I think we rated at the end of it. What, what do we, You stepped off. You said 7-3. Did I? I think you did. And I agree. It's around... It's in the 7 7 what I think I said seven six. I don't know if I rated it or not, but if I gotta give the Diddy Water a rating, it's classic. Uh, drunk all right, I gotta give two scales for the Diddy Water. Just off the vibe, it's an eight. Just off it's a vibe coming through the club. Right. But actually getting tore up off it. I might go seven three on the getting tore up. Seven yeah. three, seven four. I can I'm drink- a clear I'm a clear guy, but I'm a I dark feel like guy. I feel like it. Uh, it didn't keep us hype as much as the brown. Yeah, the brown. You know the brown make you go to town for sure, boy. <laughs> for sure, boy. For sure. Woo! Yeah. So the brown. The brown's lit. I like it all, man. I get drunk off it all. I'm cool. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying. I mean, I can't wait to you mean get get a couple shots going right now. Matter of fact, let's go back to back. Uh. Shoot the. Shot Shoot back your to shot. Back. I'm with I it. I get in my zone. Let's go. I'm with it, bro. So while I do this, you want to? Oh, uh, oh yeah. Hold on. Spin. While he does that, I want to say this. Shout out to everybody. Every single person that has participated in the Shoot Your Shot Challenge thus far. Facts. You guys are fire, man. I can't. Uh, Express this enough. It's definitely guys, bringing them bars. For you sure. are bringing them bars. And shout out to Jum because that beat was fire. Um, you know, you guys are doing your thing. And and for those who missed it or did not get it, I'm gonna break it down one more time because it's probably gonna go for about two more weeks. I know people getting their pen and pad together. <clears throat> I appreciate you guys because you yeah, guys you got are time. bringing them bars. You got time. I know you guys keep asking me if there's still time. It's plenty of time. So just Yo, go in. Shit. We may have to pick more than one winner. That's how close this is. Yeah, they've been they've been uh they've been going ham. Uh, they've been spitting some raw but, shit. But real quick, just in case you don't know, this is the Shoot Your Shot Podcast Challenge. What you have to do is go to the link in this description or the last video's description and download the instrumental made by my guy Jumbo Beats. Straight up. Um it is amazing. I want you to go um spit your hottest bars. Um, go on Instagram, post it on Instagram, make a video, yeah, just film your a video, just bars, film yourself. And, um, Not professional, just go in. Spit your hottest bars to the beat, to the video, make a video. And what I want you to do is make sure you tag Shoot Your Shot Podcast, ch- tag Checkmate TV, tag Jumbo Beats, hashtag Jumbo Sounds. <laughs> hashtag it's gonna be here shoot though. your shot challenge and hashtag shoot your shot podcast and you will be entered to win the shoot your shot podcast challenge the first one of many and what we giving them check be what, crazy. We, what we giving them and we giving them i'm giving you a bean from the gun he's bus. giving you a bean i'm giving you a bean worth of studio time that's two hours here absolutely so shoot your shot man man shoot and, your, I'm and, telling and you female from, shoot your shot because hey, yo, i know uh, y'all got the on, bars too jump. and this the added extra I want them to come up on the next podcast, and I want them to sit right here. Be the first and guest. I want to be the first guest. That's another. Right. That's we're gonna add that. So let me do the promo one more time. You. 
Download the beat. The link will be in the description on this YouTube video. You're going to tag Shoot Your Shot Podcast. Shoot Your Shot. Uh, um, you're going to tag Checkmate TV. You're going to tag Jumbo Beats. You are going to hashtag Shoot Your Shot Challenge. You are going to hashtag Shoot Your Shot Podcast. Because the way we judge it and the way we look, we go on the hashtags. We click the hashtag and see everyone's video. And that's how we get to see. And that's how we get to judge. Oh. I can't do it by mentions because my mentions are through the roof. and I can't. It's just... It's just too much. So we yeah. have to go through the, the hashtags. We're trying to repost all y'all to do it too. We're going to everyone, so. and I'm going to get on that next week ASAP. I'm just letting them build up so I can just flood them with the Shoot Your Shot Challenge. I see each and every one of you guys. You guys are amazing. You guys have been bringing right. the bars. The first five joints I heard, I was like, oh, these dudes got bars. And now, mind you, I'm a sure bars you know. type of dude. I, you know mean, I, you know mean, I used to do my thing a little bit my damn hey, self. So keep spinning that I, fire, when man. I, when, I, when I hear that talk, I hear that talk. Talk and that beat make you want to talk that talk. So you know what I mean? <laughs> Keep talking that talk. You know what yeah, I mean? The man. first dude I heard on it, he was talking that talk. He was in the car <laughs> talking that talk. I was like, oh shit. Yo, I see the one boy, he was on the bike, right? He was on the business. He bike. got me on that one. Yo, oh, shout out okay. to you, man. Yeah, okay. Shout out to you. He, I, I he was riding a too. pedal bike when he was, yo, that shit was hard, Absolutely. bro. That one Real was right. hard. So I, I'm, we're paying attention. Yeah. Um, I, I actually got a, you know, a, a couple people been stopping me, said they're getting their bars together, ready to kill it. So, you know, shout out to y'all. I, I, yeah. I, you know, I'm seeing y'all, and I just wanted to I say I just that. got a text before this, John, saying, uh, we can still do it. Hell Absolutely. yeah, you can still do you it. You can Go win. still do it. And once again, what's this podcast called? Shoot your shot. Why wouldn't you? Right. And why <laughs> wouldn't you shoot a shot right Absolutely. after you say? So yeah, man. Shoot your shot, dickhead. Shoot your shot. Yeah, man. I, I, I need to hear more. I need to hear more Absolutely. bars. You feel me? Like. They, but yo, I, like I said, the ones that have done it are bringing it, and For I sure. haven't seen a whack one yet. Right, I ain't gonna lie to you. So it's gonna be hard. Matter of fact, I might even just let the fans pick on the low. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna, gonna be more than just us. We we gonna bring another uh, entity or person in to, to pick. Absolutely, it can't this be is just getting us. Fire, like I like. Right. I'm like, damn, this dude was talking that talk. My man on the bike was talking that talk. The other boy was talking that talk. I'm like, okay, y'all, sure. y'all, y'all. You know what I mean y'all ready to rock and roll? So I'm like, yeah. all right. So that's yeah. that. But um, just wanted to say shout out to y'all on that. Yeah, one. for sure, man. You uh, you got anything you want to talk about, or you uh, There's so much to talk about. Where do I start? First things first. Hold on, I'm just start here. Shout out to my man Drake, man. Let me just start here. What Drake do now? Bro, I don't know if you know, but I know. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about his video? Yes. Yeah, that so, tough, bro. So, hold on. Hear me out. I watched the new Drake little video. He always does this too. He give you a little two piece before he get ready to drop right. something. He give you a little two piece of the biscuit. This time he could bind them all into one. <laughs> he combined it all into one and started giving me the vibes. He showed sure. me the house called the embassy. I said, okay, I need to quit work. What's going on? I'm not living. Right. That this motherfucker's deep. house is called the embassy. <laughs> and he sampled that John. That was fire. Oh, my God. He sampled song cry. song cry. He's yeah. out from the Marcy. And that wasn't even the hot part. No, nah, it was like, all oh, hot. Though. He was just talking about, he was talking that shit on there. But once it started getting into that sample where they reminded me of it, don't think about it too much. It reminded me of that, but it right. wasn't that. And yeah. it was just like a vibe. It, and then I started seeing the house and then the rose came out. And then it started driving. I'm like, okay, I need to go on night rides like this. I am tripping. Like, where am I at in my life? It made me reflect on life. One like, thing about on. Drake is he, like, when he do shit like that, it's, it's hot. See, see, that's the thing hot, that, that, that fucks me up is because, like, that's what I like about Drake. And I never got to see that with, with Jay. And I know Jay worth a billion, so I know he got something crazy, too. Yeah. But I never got to see that with Jay because it wasn't the social media era. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? He's too old now, but it wasn't the social media era when he was coming up. See, this is why I give Drake supreme goat status because, like, I get to see it. You know what I'm saying? I get to see it, and I just love it. You know what I'm saying? Even though, yeah. you know, I, there's certain things I don't like about Drake or whatever the situation may be. He just put a, on, though. Just in comparison to older rappers— 
this, and this is only in comparison to where my childhood, but it, now he's like the best thing I ever heard in my life. But compared to my childhood, when I, I grew up on, you know, Jay, Jay to kiss, and well, I'm gonna get back to Jay to kiss in a second, but Jay to kiss, and I mean, even get back to Santana in a second. Um, you know, these dudes, and you know, I, 50s, and you know, uh, yeah. DMXs, and you know, even state prop, state prop. All this shit I was growing up on, you know what I'm saying? And for me to feel good on this new era and make and it still feel like what I like and, and he's able to switch what I like and influence my taste, that's when I know you're doing something right. Mm-hmm. Because I literally, I swear to God, I woke up, and I was I had work at 7 o'clock, it was like 6.45, and fucking this video, like academics, I think, posted a snippet of the video, and I had, I went right to YouTube, like, what the fuck, is, like, what Drake dropped? And I go to YouTube, and I, I watch the whole video, and then as soon as he gets to the embassy, I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, I didn't even know that. At first, I didn't realize it was his crib, and I'm like, wait, he got a name on his crib? <laughs> <laughs> like and, God, in the call at the embassy, right? And that then shit looked like a fucking on the roof, putting a fucking million dollars in the safe. That shit was the compound. Got, oh my god! I'm like, okay, I need to. We we need to shoot a shot on a whole different type time here because I'm on turkey time. I'm surprised he's showing his crib like that and all that. Cause nah, you know but, people know where that shit's at. But well. First things first, the first thing that gave me the insight on the crib was that Rat Radar podcast because he was right. In his he crib. was in it, yeah. yeah that shit looked like talking. the cover of fucking Take Care. Yeah, that I was joint. like, oh my god, this joint's crazy. But it didn't give me the it didn't give me the same vibe. But then once right. I seen it, I was like, oh my god. Yeah, he's on he's on another level. Oh my god, for sure. Oh my god, that was the visual <laughs> I needed to inspire me. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was like, right. oh hold up, I need the compound the embassy. Where the fuck is that at? Because I ain't there. That's real talk. Yeah. But um, well, that not, was just not my, many of us are. <laughs> yeah, that was just shit. my. Uh, you but know, I do like the my song. Hot take on Drake, real quick. Song- but, uh, a lot of music has dropped, and see, this <clears> the thing right here. I, I'm gonna just we're gonna name three albums real quick, and I'm gonna just I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm, let me just go here real quick, Joe. Hey, do your thing, bro. Um, so Uzi. Yes, that was, that, that was one of my topics, for sure. Uzi, Jadakiss, Lil Baby. Can okay. I just add uh, G Herbo in there? Ooh. Because that joint's hard. Ooh, that was a great ad. Yeah. And, and that intro. <laughs> that intro <laughs> is something special. Yo, he got, he can spit, yo. I feel he like, back yo, on beating let, everything. Yo, let me say something real quick. I think G Herbo studied Philly from 06, 05, 06, bro, because his flow on there. Yeah, it's Philly, bro. And like not no knock to him or not. Dude, that shit is so hard, bro. Yeah, I don't know if he special. did or not, but Shout out to Herbo. Yo, shout out he to Herbo. That too. intro is serious, bro. Yeah. He his rhyme schemes be different. That's yeah. why I fuck with I him. I got to shoot my shot to Herbo. Yes, please do. Let's we'll shoot our shot to Yeah, Herbo. but I yo, check that out. Check out the um Herbo intro and just Check out the whole tape. Yeah, check out the whole tape. Shout out that the shout fire. out to Dougie got a John on there. And uh, yeah, that's on fire, bro. Like I fuck with her, but he really spit, man. Yo, you know? I, I I I I gotta say one thing though, and this is what I was about to get at. So first things first, I'm just shout out to Lil Baby for having the number one album in the in the country for a week. Yeah, and he he exceeded the uh, expectations that of we me. talked about. I, I said he'd be right around 150. What was it? One one eighty, I think was it was, or something like that. It yeah. was over. It was over 150. It was over what well, we talked well, about. Well over 150. <laughs> yeah. Um, the problem is Lil Uzi jumped right on this top. Yeah, yeah. And Lil sure. Uzi is projected to sell three thirty one. And did 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 Baby have like a single out of that? Well, yeah, he did a couple. He had a couple. Put on. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not too too. I love Lil too. Baby. I love Lil Baby. So yeah, he had yeah. a couple on there. He had um. Once Uzi dropped, everything else kind of like was on pause for me. I ain't gonna lie. I tried it because I tried to really dive into that Uzi album because I fucked All right, with him. So, and he's from the city too, hold on. so you know. Three albums drop, and there was one disappointment. Or four albums drop that I listened to. And there's more than that now when you just come out. I think Blueface just dropped, and a couple other people. I like, I fuck with Blueface too, by the way. Yeah, I ain't here. But anyway, a couple other people dropped, but that's the other there. Last week, four people dropped. Herbo, Uzi, Jadakiss, 
little baby, and there was one disappointment. And I hate to say this, and I got to keep it all the way to the grease. The one disappointment out of all four of these people, and I don't even know how I can even fathom to say this. I hope it ain't who I think you're going to say. Was Jadakiss. <laughs> I can't comment on that because I didn't listen to it. Because, Yo, because when we thought it dropped, it on. didn't. And time then, out, time yeah, but this, this is my whole thing right here. So I want, I'm always going to get to it, though. It's just. Damn. See, this is my thing right here. Now, I don't say this in no negative way because Jadakiss just dropped a freestyle on the radio. And I know he does everything I, I like. So what else? So this is the thing. I, okay, let, let's let's rewind. I go to the, there's four albums that drop. The first one I'm gonna listen to is Jadakiss. I don't care about kids that are younger than me. Like I'm kind of grown. Like <laughs> these kids that are 26, 25. I'm I, I, I'm into music, so I listen. I'm, I'm I, I fuck with all of it. You know what I'm saying? I, I I'm getting the sauce from the young kids. You know what I'm saying? I'm staying young, staying youthful. But at the end of the day. I'm looking for Jadakiss for what I want. I want to right. pull my windows down and cruise out to some Jadakiss. I, I hear you. Now, like like now, back in the on. day. Now, <laughs> hold on. To his credit, the album was for a specific purpose. You know, he made the album for his man that just had right. passed away. Yeah. So it was a lot of that and a lot of singing songs. But all I wanted was one. Hard beat, pause. <laughs> One hard song on there. Yeah. No, I, well, you just gave me bars. How, how, many tra- how many tracks you got on there? I don't give a damn. Yeah. I couldn't find one. I was searching. I was I, yeah. I literally searched. I literally searched that album without even listening to Little Baby nor Uzi. For like two or three days on the truck, I was looking for one hard track mm. and I couldn't find it. Hey man. <clears throat> and Jadakus is no knock because he's stone, he's in stone. And he, he's easily my top three, four rappers ever. Easily. So I'm not knocking him in no type of way. Did you like the him and him and Fab John? Yeah. Yeah. I um, love that John. I just didn't know if it was one on there either, though. No, nah, there was there was a couple on there. Yeah. Because he's giving them but whoa, hold on. It wasn't Jadakus and Fab, was it? Yeah. It was Jada Kiss. Nightmare, yeah. John. Yeah, it was like Friday the 13th. Yeah. It was <laughs> ironically. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, but, it's Friday the 13th right now. So we yeah, it's pretty to crazy. Shot hey, so. shoot your shot. But yeah, let's get back to the um, the other That was albums. my only disappointment. Love you, Jada Kiss. No hard feelings. Sure. And I know you're going to come back. With some fire and that f- radio freestyle you just dropped, absolutely what I was looking for. I find myself playing the radio freestyle more than I play the album. That's no d- knock, no disrespect, but that's just what I'm looking for. And I know you know that's what I'm looking for. That's why you dropped it. And I know you know that's what we looking for. That's why you dropped it. He he'll come back with something. He'll come back with something. So I'm for not sure. worried. But now on the little baby and Uzi, shout out to little baby because that album's fire. Sure. That album's fire. But let's now, let's talk about the Uzi John. Go ahead, you start me off. I fuck with it. Heavy. He gave us all to me, he gave us all the um different Uzis that we needed to hear. Like he first and I'm talking about the the first one, Eternal or Take. The other one just came out today, and we ain't really get a chance to listen to it yet. But I fuck with I fuck with Eternal Take, man. Like he gave us every different kind of Uzi. First he started off with them hard hitting rapping Johns. And right. then he gave us and he went into the vibes. And right. he slam dunked on them Johns, man. He really I, that's a good John. It's definitely Shout a good John. Uzi is a really good John. For sure. And um so this is my thing about Uzi. It's just sad that drama was holding this dude out for fucking what yeah, was it? He should have been three dropping. years. Like, he could have had this done. I, I feel like Uzi does this so effortlessly that he could have had this done or probably did have it done. Right. Years ago. A year or two ago. What's, cra- what's crazy, too, is that he did the format that I was talking about last week. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let last me talk podcast. about that format. <laughs> that format ain't it, Jim. It ain't. Listen. That shit ain't it. It just came out today, though. We Yo, ain't get a oh, chance. Oh, time out. Time out. So Jumps, I said every two weeks though, not hold every on, one on, week. On. First off, so Jumps said we should give 
a couple tracks first, 10, 15, 10, right. 12 he tracks. He gave us 16, then Hold he on. gave us 14. That's a, that's a lot. That's, I, that's too not much. what I, I said. I can't get there too quick. That's not what I said to do, though. What'd I said, say? don't put out 24. So you said 10 and 10? That's cool. I say just give me 20. Just give me 20. 20 let, me just, solid. Let, let me just rock off that. I mean, listen, if it's Uzi, he could do whatever the fuck he wants. And that's what I said about Drake. You said no. But. But Drake, <laughs> but, but Drake hasn't dropped in three. It was it two years. Like no, why he drops every year? Not a project. Yeah, he that was last year. Scorpion came out. Yeah, it was last year. Yeah, I'm it was. But Drake could have gave us, you know, a six month John or something. He just gave that us he just disappeared. He gives us twenty four. Does his what, thing. What you think up. he's giving us this time? Fifteen. Yeah. Smooth. You think he's not? You don't think he's going low Uzi and fucking. Stacking them up. He don't got to do Lil Uzi. He's Drake. Different levels. But I listen, I like Shout the, out to Lil Uzi, though. That was yeah, I, I like I like what Uzi did, though. Because I love the... Hold on. Let, let me now, let me get into Lil Uzi. I love what you got going on, bro. For sure. The tape or the album is fire. The second one, I just I, got into it. I, I could tell that was the real album. The first one you dropped was just like to gas us up. I like his beat selection, too. Because I like what Uzi did, too. Because all his real hits are on the second one. The first one we gotta was just like, that. yo, I, I'm here. Right. And what I like about Uzi even better, because I posted this on my blog, was his promo material. Mm. Did you see, did you see the people. promo material? No, I didn't. This dude was getting beamed up by spaceships in the office and all this other weird shit. It was it was mesmerizing. That special effects shit, bro. It was amazing. Mm. I literally made it my intro to my blog for the last four days. Mm. It was amazing. I gotta check that out. Yeah, that's absolutely. Dope. So that's hold on, artist. Ding ding ding. Let's get back to the major keys. Promo, promo material. We've been, t- we been telling y'all we this shit. We've been telling y'all this shit. We really want to help y'all. Uzi. That's why. We've been that, telling y'all. Yo, Lil Uzi just gave me a whole thing where he got beamed up by spaceships to let you know his album was coming out. He didn't have to do that. And he he was Lil all... Uzi. He talking about Pluto and all that shit. He, this motherfucker got beamed else. up by spaceships. It was the craziest <laughs> special effects I've seen by an artist in 10 years. This motherfucker... Like, yo, he did a whole movie damn near to promote the album. And, uh, yeah. And then he dropped another one. And then he went back to back. <laughs> and now they're the same DJ album. Khaled. Another that's, one. That's what's dope about it. Now they're the same album. So, But, yeah, it's the, now it's the deluxe version. He gave you But 90, it's disc he, one he, and he disc had, two. He, had you, he gave you 24 on the low, but he wanted to right. give you the 10 first. Yeah, he did. He, he, he heard the podcast. You feel me? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> so to that, shoot. Yo, yeah, shot. we gotta shoot a shot because honestly, it's pretty crazy how we, we talked about that shit yeah. last podcast. Yo, we really on, like like we trying to help y'all, man. I want to see everybody win, man. Want to see at y'all the end win. of the day. So what what I see out of that is like find new tactics, man. Find new tactics to take to, the internet over. Yeah, simple as that. Exactly. Like it's not post your shit up and say album out now. No, it's get beamed up by spaceships and right. fucking and thriller make and it TikTok. Go, right, and make it and go fucking, fucking go crazy. viral. And then you're like, oh shit, it dropped. That that shit is hot before I even heard it. Exactly. Eternal Intake was hot before I even heard it. Right. We all, I mean, Uzi big enough to where everybody's going to listen. listen. He, he been held back for so long. Let me but... keep it all the way to the, you know, once again, we got to keep it all the way to the Greasiano. <laughs> that shit was hot before I heard it. <laughs> I, and I'll I tell still, you what. Hold on. And I still ain't marinated to it enough right. as much as I want it's to. It's still fresh. It's still fresh. One thing I can but say. But that shit is fire because he put so much promo behind it. Yeah. And when I hear it, I'm like, You yes, want to hear it. You want to go hear it, though. You want to hear yes, that shit. I want to hear it. Right. Like I'm like fiending for it, and I don't even care less about it. The intro's crazy, too. I could care. Yo, I'm a Came fucking Jadakiss fan. I could care less about what these new rappers are doing. But he made me want it. I feel like Jada, Jada just did his regular promo runs and don't no, got the internet on Smash. On a different level. I'm not going to knock Jada. No, that's cool, but he could he could do some extraordinary, extraordinary shit. I was going to listen to Jada Kiss regardless. He just didn't give me a one that I wanted. Right. He right. didn't give me not one that I wanted. Like, yeah. I, 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 I would have been, yo, he literally could have put out a Death Wish one track. 
that would have been cool. Like, yo, that shit's fire. It was all yeah. girl Jones and all R.I.P. Jones. Yeah. And that that was that type of album. No disrespect, R.I.P. Shade yeah, I feel I like he did. Like he probably did that one for him. Yeah, he did you know? that one for him, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? I ain't knocking that, but that is what it is. Oh, shout out to Jewels though. So Jewels, I don't know if Jewels is home. I don't know if Jewels is in jail. I don't know where Jewels is at, but he just dropped an album. Oh, he did. Yeah, he just dropped an album. He dropped an oh, album like, like three or four days ago. You know, I think Joel's got one. His first album is one of my favorite Absolutely. albums ever, bro. But the crazy part about Joel's album is it's hot on the low, but it's like I'm gonna check it out. It's weird <clears throat> because it's hot, but it's like weird. <laughs> if that could make any sense. What's weird? Like, what, what would you say is weird about it? So what's weird about it is. This. The songs, um, the beats, the his what he's so talking about. So what's weird about it is, I think he was like a Drake set. He used a nice for what sample. Okay. He used like all. So being that he used these samples, I'm thinking he's out of jail. The, but the album is called Free Santana. Mm. So I'm thinking it's all old songs. I don't know if he's out or home or home or out. I have no idea what's going on here. But it's not the. Santana, I would like, but he did nail. He did Santana on every song, right? If that makes any sense, right? How's, I would like Santana beast? on. So that's what I'm. I guess that's more so what I'm about to say. I like Santana on them heavy sample Lion King sample yeah. beats, high pitch vocal samples. I I am heat makers. Heat. Yeah, dumb sample <laughs> right. beats where he's on Lion King, Dipset. Shout, fucking, shout out the heat makers too, man. Whoever no made way. them old school sample beats, that's what I want to hear. I don't want to hear him on a nice for what beat, but he did flip it very well, and it was good. And the joint with him, Two Chains, and Lil Wayne is really good. I fuck with that. So he gave me one. So he gave me one. So I gotta give him props. It was a good album. I ride around to that joke. I can't even think of the name of it off the top of my head. But it's him, Two Chains, and Lil Wayne, and there's only one song with them three on it. It's hot. And I could tell it's an old song, though, because Lil Wayne's verse is like real dated. Everybody else's verse is like dope, but his verse is like real dated. And shout out to Lil Wayne, but that shit is really dated on there. So I could tell it was just like throwing yeah. a gun. Probably. But Probably that's it here or there. So, uh,. Now I gotta get to my man, little baby. We want to shoot, yeah, shoot this shot. That's your shit. Let's shoot your shot. Damn, it's out of the out of the ten fucking albums I dropped. You know who I'm listening to, <laughs> little baby. This is why I'm listening to little baby. Little Baby is the Jada Kiss of the new rappers. That's how you feel? That's how I'm carrying it. I just made that up <laughs> off the top of my head. Damn, too. That's, that's pretty deep, bro. And the reason why I say that is this. Little Baby talks that shit. Like, I could tell Little Baby was whipping 62s up yesterday. <laughs> Like, <laughs> no bullshit. I feel like, like he's a smart dude, though, for sure. He's smart. He's, he's probably well-educated, and I don't know if, like, what he got going on. I just heard they jump a little uh, offset and all that. This ain't a propaganda park podcast, so we're not going to get into that. But at the end of the day, what little baby be talking about? Bro, that shit is something different, bro. Every time... Yo, he got on the future, John, and I feel like his verse was as hot as Drake's. Damn. He said, he said, how about the whip? I feel like Houdini, 751 week. What? <laughs> I bought two Lamborghinis. <laughs> you, you heard what he said uh, as far as like making shit like be a hit and go viral. He, he found that Drake format. It's like rap a caption type shit. He said that shit on the radio. Yeah. So. But yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, he. Like that, you know what I'm saying? The like, thing about Lil Baby is this. Like, the people, it's like this. Okay. So, some people force rap, and some people just naturally have sauce and can rap. Right. And Lil Baby is one of them people that naturally have sauce and can rap. 
and then even care about rapping. Right, you can and hear. And Lil it. Baby's one of those dudes. He, he be laid back. And that's one. Of, and that's one. And that's why it's so dope because I can just tell he naturally has sauce. Right. And sauce. What I mean by sauce is just like swag and like the way he approached things is just a little bit different than. Like and I, and mind you, let's rewind the last podcast. We were arguing about the baby and little baby. Yeah. The reason why I listen to little baby over the baby, no disrespect to the baby, because I love his records also. But the reason why I listen to little baby instead of the baby is because little baby talks that shit. Nah, I hear you. <laughs> and I, f- I hear you. And hold on, let me just. Call me Nostradamus check. <laughs> I feel like QC is going to fall apart. And it's just going to be a little baby. You nah, heard it first here. Nah, I don't agree with that. They big, bro. So, so we, uh, we're not going to get in the gossip. Yeah, fuck time. all that. But at the end of the day, QC going to focus on a little baby if they know what's right. Anyway. Well, so what's Amigos going to do? That's what I. That was kind of my point. <laughs> all right, hey, we'll see. You know, I don't really give a fuck. I don't care you. about that. But they all that's big enough to to carry themselves. They're at this all point. big enough to carry themselves. But little baby is the future, and um, little baby is the one. And but let me touch on baby, that Q, that QC shit though. I got respect for them, bro. Absolutely, shout out to P and K. Real rat, because they put together something in Atlanta that that needs to be put together here. In Philly. But there's Philly. so many branches of Atlanta that could be put together. There's not right, enough but, branches in but, Philly but what they but, together. but what they did was they believed in Amigos, let that start the business, and, and sign Migos everybody else. Amigos definitely started the business. That's Shout out to the Amigos. That's what I'm saying. Like they, I don't know if you saw, they had that uh, Steve Harvey interview. And it was, it was uh, what is it? Uh, it was K and P. Right. Coach K and P. Yeah, and they were talking about it, like... And um, yeah, they they were talking about how the Migos were first, and then that start you know, and then it turned into everybody else, and they put everybody on for real. They were managers at first, and then uh, turned that shit to a two label. Two good dudes too. Two solid yeah. street good dudes. Yeah, you can tell they um, they want they want people to win, and that's what that's what this music game needs. Shout out to the city girls. Shout out to uh, the ba- I mean little baby shout out to uh, Migo shout out to everyone on that shout out to Cardi B shout out to everyone on that label is Cardi, um, Cardi B's on there? no she's not on there but she's managed by them right okay so, yeah, so they do both like Rock Nation does right, they do both like Rock Nation does what you think about that Rock Nation shit how they how they um, you know like be be like scouting these artists out when, when they got a problem with the label and then they be trying to help them out what you think about that? Um, I think it's Smart, and I think it plays it to what Dame Dash was always talking about with Jay Z. Yeah. I think I don't want to wear this the wrong way, but I do think they do scout artists that are in trouble that are already hot. Right. And um, I think Jay Z feel like he has enough power to influence anyone that has a problem. And um, I think Jay-Z always felt that way. And um, that's where that goes. See, I feel, so I, like, feel I feel, a little different. So like Megan Thee Stallion, she has a problem with her label. She goes to Rock Nation, and they're working on clearing that up. Right. Little Uzi has a problem with his label. They go to Rock Nation, and um, they clear that up. See, I think it's the problem. Mick Mills has a problem with his label. They go to Rock Nation. They clear that. See, up. see, I think the problem is the egos of these artists. First off, uh, and then, and then, know. and then they're mad at at some dumb shit. So they go over there. Well, I will say to get some padding, but you know, whatever. Megan, I will say, I think it's more or less ego because. Megan, I felt like was trying to pull the little Uzi exactly, play. Exactly. And Megan needed a lot of work to get to where she's at but now. But you see, she dropped the album. <laughs> see, this is the thing about Megan. The album came out. <laughs> the thing about the thing about Megan is I think she tried to drop the little Uzi play. She did. And I believe Rock Nation might have put the bug in her ear. 
to but, but, try to but, lose but, play? But, but I don't know if you heard, but she, her her deal sounds good. At the end yeah, of the but day. I heard it's a three sixty. But I heard it's she getting forty percent, so that's lit. But she's getting taxed on every part of her right. What, but every part of her. Situation. But that, but she signed it, so like she's talking about she never read the contract, like whatever. Like um, I don't know what a how. Like, that's always weird how I feel yeah, about that. I, I don't know, bro. You gotta read, read the contract. Well, hold it. No, 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 no. But this is my whole <laughs> or thing. Have right your here. lawyer read the contract. I feel like Megan Thee Stallion wouldn't be Megan Thee Stallion without that contract. Yes, I agree, a hundred percent. All right, so not only do we agree there, so we start here, and I don't know if anyone else would have believed in Megan Thee Stallion, but that contract bull. Right, he and he's an MLB player too. Shout out to him. Yeah. Now, we got all the facts out the way. Now that we got the facts out the way, let's get into okay. Now the contract is bad. Okay, well, fill, fulfill the contract. If you're Megan Thee Stallion, you right. could do. You could keep. You For could sure. keep going. What was it? What is it? A three album, four album deal? Uh, yeah, I, might, I, I might be five. Four. You already got three or four million in. Yeah, yeah she's making the money, but they put her listen, on. You listen, I, mean? I always go to. I'm, I'm a for people like Megan Thee Stallion, bigger artists. I always talk to the little, little artists, and I hope some bigger artists will watch this. And so let me talk to y'all. Whatever. I don't care. I'm going to still talk to y'all. <laughs> Listen, hear me out. I think Uzi. Uzi. If Drake <laughs> is still getting a percentage of his money taken from him, y'all fucking artists go to get a percentage of y'all money taken from y'all. Facts. You got to figure Baby is taking money from Drake. Little Wayne is taking money from Drake, and Lord knows, and Universal Dr- Jay, Jay is taking money from Drake, Jay and Prince Jay is Prince too. is taking money from Drake. So if if anybody fulfilled their fucking contract to the maximum extent, is Drake, right? And 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 everything gets renegotiated at the end of the day. That motherfucker so, could renegotiate a thousand times; it don't yeah. matter. No, what like anybody that's taking a dollar from Drake, he's losing. Because that motherfucker is making millions off of these projects. I'm sure. talking about the money is completely different. Right. It's completely different from Megan Thee Stallion or mm-hmm. fucking Lil Uzi. And he got the a money fucking is embassy. different. He got a fucking embassy. <laughs> so he lit. Like The money. He got a fucking embassy. He got a jet. <laughs> he got a plane. He got a jet. An OVO jet. That's bigger than my fucking house. <laughs> no Yep. For sure. <laughs> it's we're a, it's a shooter a, shot today. Yeah, we are. Shoot your shot, dickhead. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy though, because the I mean, if you signed it, you knew like you didn't read it. I I got nothing to say for you. No, the crazy part is she said she signed it when she was like 19. But, but you grown at 19, you 18, you like you're legally bound to that. You Listen, signed the shit, bro. Mac, I, don't, and, and, I don't care if you read it and then you didn't understand it. I don't care if you read it and you knew it was wrong. I don't care if you didn't read it. Mac, I wouldn't know who you are if it wasn't for these guys. For sure. So if your shit is fucked up. Fuck it. It happens that way. You are eventually going to be able to renegotiate. That's what the lawyers come into play. You already made a million dollars. You know what like, it is? Hold on, hold on. I, I think on. she got what she wanted, though. I agree. And the but album hear me dropped. Out. Hear so me boom. out, though. This is my whole thing right here. My job rapes me in the ass with no lube. Pause. Pause. <laughs> no bullshit. But if my job said, yo, I got a million dollars for you at the end of the year. What you gonna, rate me in the you fucking bend ass over? with no <laughs> yeah. lube. Pause. What the fuck? You made a mill. You did everything you wanted to do and you became famous. So but, you could always make money. Yeah. I wonder if like, if I feel like a lot of rappers though, like it's Only a facade. Rap- Hold on, this the like thing. I feel like they're not as rich as we think they are. They're not a lot of them. But see, and I, I was just, that's crazy you said that because I was just literally just about to go there. Right. So that the the thing about it is, the people that really need to re- renegotiate the, their contracts are the people that can't make another hit. Yeah. If you always like Little Wayne, 
went into depression about his contract <laughs> when his sound started to fade. Yeah, there was some ego shit. And some I, ego I feel shit. like there's a lot but of But Drake shit. will never have to go... Well, as of right now... I, oh, hold on. Watch this. Shoot Your Shot podcast exclusive again. Ding, ding, ding. Drake will never have to go through a, a negotiation until his sound fades. Nah, he he been through them, though, already. Listen. When he got a... I don't know if he's out of cash money situation now Listen. or not, but he renegotiated, Nah, bro, Baby just sure. said recently, this year... Real recent that he will always receive a check from Drake every time he drops. Right, but that doesn't mean it's the same check as it was I'm not five, saying, I'm ten not years saying, ago. I'm not saying it's the same check. Right, right, but right. But being that he's still receiving a check will get renegotiated when Drake gets fucked up, if he ever gets fucked up. Right. Yeah. And he's so good that he's good. everybody can eat. Key word. Good. But he's good because he puts in the work to be good as well. You feel Absolutely. me? Absolutely. He's definitely a student. Why in the game. he's good, I don't care. Right. But he's good. That's the key word. Right. Key word. Amazing word. Absolute word. And he's good because he has hits. And he can the continuously the produce hits and he controls the culture. He doesn't bend to the culture. Right. Exactly. Because I think he really, he puts a lot of work in behind the scenes that we have no idea about. See, a lot of rap, a lot of rappers been been stopping me like, yo, I got that real rap. I'm like, what? What's that? What does that mean? <laughs> like, I'm a real rapper. I used to really rap. So you can't yeah. tell me you got hotter bars than what I had. You can't tell me you got hotter bars than the people I know. See, but to me, when somebody says that to me, and I get that a lot, too, being in the studio, like, yo, I'm the best you going here, da, da, da. That, none of that shit matters to me at the end of the day. Right. It's about what you do after, after you, <laughs> yeah. the song after is After that recorded. hottest song you ever recorded in life. Shoot your shot. Shoot your, yeah, that's that a was, that was big, shoot your shot. Bull, real rap. That was a big shoot your shot. And that's no shots at anybody. Yeah, no shots. It's 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 information that y'all need to to uh, hear because, Listen, yo, you need to focus on one song. What what's the thing they say? It's like ninety percent business uh, work, ten percent talent or some Absolutely. shit. I believe that to the fullest, man. That's a big now fool. now when your talent's like the shit and your work ethic is the shit, then, then you, get then, yeah, you, you, you get Drake. You get Drake. Yeah, me. People like that. Yeah, even and Lil Uzi, Lil, Lil Uzi, Uzi worked for that. Yeah, they that's record a thousand I, songs. That's like, one thing about Lil Uzi, he worked for that. Think about, think about that for a second. I know Ooh. little motherfuckers that was in the studio with him like a year ago. Yeah, rapping these, no auto tune hashtag is a thing now. Lil Uzi, right? Think about a thousand songs, twelve hundred songs recorded. Like that means you put in work. Like twelve hundred songs is a lot of songs. Fucking right, and I know I Uzi I, got that many. I don't think I recorded twelve hundred songs in my whole life. Right, I have, but not my songs. <laughs> That's a lot of fucking work, man. And shout out to Uzi for that, bro. Oh, rap, shoot your shot. Shoot your shot to twelve hundred songs. Sure. And the crazy part is, they say you need ten thousand hours to make a million dollars in anything. Yeah. Or see, I don't know about a million, but you need ten thousand to to sustain a certain situation. I know I got ten thousand on on this computer over here, for sure. You probably over the thing. Right? I ain't got a million though. <laughs> you probably what? You probably over ten thousand hours. Yeah, for sure. But your sure. work is the work, not talent. Right? It's it's it both. No, it's both. It it's both. But let's see a hint over there. Yeah. At the end of the day. But that doesn't mean shit. You got a ten, question for just me. I'm it, getting off these artists. I'm off them. Well, let me just say, just because it's 10,000 hours don't mean that it's automatically going to say million. You know, you got to make moves <laughs> at the end still, of the day. There's still some promotion. I'm just saying you could be good enough. Oh, absolutely. I agree 100%. Million. I know ins and outs of all this shit. So, like, being 10,000 hours in... It's like you, you got the blue you got you got the tools that you need already to You got the blueprint. Exactly. No so, Jay Z. Right. So um well, you got something or you want you want me to say something? Uh, I already gave you four. You gave me four? <laughs> I don't know. Well, four four albums. 
<laughs> what you think about um all right, let me word this right so you don't take it the wrong di- direction. So what do you think about um six nine coming home? Oh God, thank you, and, Fowler. You put me there. Yes. Hold on. Shout out to my man Jim. <laughs> hold now on now. Gonna, now I'm gonna shock the whole world. <laughs> hold Fuck on. That. That's all I did. That's but all but I let me just say, because you can answer this on the back end. What do you think people are still gonna listen to Six Nine? Thank you for Ali Oopy Me. <laughs> this is gonna be the focus point of the podcast. Let me bring the mic up. <laughs> let me say this real clear. Hold on. The, tell him. T- hold on. Shoot, let's we're, get a shot. Hold on a second. Let's get a shot. You you were a Six Nine fan. I know you were. Poor shot. <laughs> Poor shot. Because I remember one time, and they don't know, but you were definitely a 6 9 fan. I Poor know shot. that. And I know why you were a 6 9 fan. Not because of the propaganda, but because of his music. Poor shot. I got this. You're right, <laughs> right. Um, Boom. Poor shot. I'm going to shoot your Are shot. Are we shooting this? We're going to shoot a shot to 6 9 real quick. Oh, no, hold on. I'm not shooting no shot to 6 9 Fuck out of here. Uh, say that. You can shoot your I'm shot. I'm going to shoot my shot to the topic. Shoot your shot to the topic. <laughs> All right. 6 9 Clip this. 6 9 Seeing this early. I am... Fucking with six nine when he comes home. Ah, uh, <laughs> simple as the that. Voice of the unpopular over voice here. Voice of the unpopular opinion. I'm not. This I, the key right here. I'm not. You know how I many fucking rats you talk to? It doesn't matter. Listen I didn't like him from the rip. So. All right, all right, all right. So let's let's doesn't backtrack. Matter. Let's backtrack. I'm not in backtrack. the streets, by the way. But let's rewind. He out of pocket, bro. Yeah, There's know. a few things here. I like what 6 9 was talking. So so this is what I, let me just tell you what I liked about 6 9 Okay? Go ahead. And then and then I want to know what you think his strategy is coming out. Like uh, what where is he gonna be at? Because uh, is he gonna go oh, to the oh, Breakfast oh, Club oh, and oh, keep oh, talking oh, all oh, that oh, shit? One thing at a time. All right, go ahead. What I liked about 6 9 was this. And this is the hard part, but I'ma still say it anyway. I fuck with him. Yeah, you were a big 6 9 fan. What I liked about 6 9 was that he wasn't listening to nobody. And he had a click behind him that knew they was going to shoot it out if anybody had a problem. And that was the problem. And and that's why the feds were involved. See, this is the thing we're here. None of these rappers we talking about is going to shoot it out with you. I like people like that. I relate to people like that. But but he I put, love people like that. But he put himself there. Well, hold on. Chief Keith is a bull. I would never go to Chicago and try to fuck with Chief, Chief Keith. And I wouldn't shoot at Chief Keith if he came to Philly. I'd be wanting to talk it out. This motherfucker shot at Chief Keith in New York and in wherever else he came to. Because he didn't give a fuck. He had a squad, and it was really riding. See, this, so hold on, hold on. Let's get the logistics. What does that do oh, for him, though? What was the point oh, of it? That's, that's some turn. young bullshit, this bro. This is my turn that really break down the situation. That's some young bullshit. I know every rapper I know don't got the keys to push a plug to get a nigga shot at. Okay? Well, let's start there. First, second thing. To push the play or the motherfucker getting shot at on camera, on TV, on TMZ, not, not giving a fuck, <laughs> is just crazy to me in hindsight. But you're shooting at Chief Keith and knowing he probably will shoot back later in life. You're shooting at this nigga, not giving a fuck. You're shooting at Kanye because he ain't put you in your video. You're shooting at all these motherfuckers. That's some gangster shit. I don't care what nobody say. Nobody can steer me off this. But he wasn't. Oh. He wasn't shooting, bro. He he might have been around the people that was willing to do it, but listen, which makes him, you know, listen. 
which, which put him in that situation. Look, like I, of the I, whole situation. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the funny part. I watched Frank Lucas. I watched The Irishman. I watched all these mafia movies. Frank Lucas is rat ratted on everybody. Ratted on everybody. And they still idol, the idolizing them. Man, <laughs> and they idolize them. Yeah. So what you? So, hold on, but, tell me. The bull from Philly and all these mob dudes, they ratted on everybody. The whole mob family. The Molinas and Molinos and Alpa. All Alpa. Al Pacinos and all them. No, they Alpa. ratted on all of them. They ratted. But y'all worship these mob dudes. I know y'all turtles hang with some fuck boys that will rat on everybody that's moving. These guys want to be with the cops and the fucking fire department so bad. And they're riding on everybody. So you can't tell me nothing. Nothing. I know these dudes. I know people. So what I'm trying to say is this. This dude literally called some big ass shots. Like, hold on. Think about it. Like, like this is why I was fucking with six dollars. Let's keep it all the way to the fish. But to me, though, shooting at somebody's not a shot, bro. Like, it's not a big shot. Like, that to me is like just like all listen, right. That's like, can, like that's yo, making a statement, but that ain't put that ain't doing nothing, bro. Listen, like, hear me out. Like, there I ain't, can beef with anybody. Yo, I, yo, I literally. That's a headline at the end of the out, day. Hear me out. Hear me out. I can literally beef with anybody in New York right now. I go at anybody right now in New York. Right, and if you pay somebody to go shoot at them, oh, oh, now you six nine. Hold on, no, I be for anybody in New York right now. I be for anybody. I don't want to just sub. I don't want to even just don't even say New York. I don't want to trying to beef with nobody. I, no, we're not trying but, to beef with nobody. I'm just trying to say, fuck New York. We'll just say I'll be for anybody in Atlanta, New York, Florida, wherever, anywhere. It's all not case sensitive. I don't want to use New York as a, a, a specific spot. Hypothetically. And hypothetically, I mean for anybody anywhere. I go there tomorrow. They're not gonna have me shot at. I will go there tomorrow and enjoy my vacation very smoothly. But you but but you not on a, a chief key. Keith level though. That's a different situation. No, but People know that Chief Keith is where he was. They could be on a Chief Keith level. But I'm just saying. How you go to Miami and this trick trick right now? How you know that you how, shot at? How you know that? Because this is the motherfucker, the only motherfucker that's doing it. He's indicted for it. I'm just saying, anything can happen, bro. That was no honor, disrespect man. to Florida. No disrespect. No, nah, we know it's no disrespect. No disrespect. We, this is all hypotheticals. But at the end of the day, I'm just saying it don't take much to pay somebody to shoot at somebody. That's my whole point. You're right. It don't take You're that much. I right. could go pay. I got bread. I can go pay anybody right now to put in some work. That's fucked up. You're right, but that most likely ain't happening. Why wouldn't it? Why? Why can't I put fucking five grand in somebody's pocket to go put in some work that really ain't got shit? Because they're not doing it. Why wouldn't they? Because they're not. Bro, they will, bro. Some Somebody that's fucked up, and you give them five, ten racks, they'll do they're whatever the fuck you it. want, bro. I already, I know motherfuckers that'll do that shit for less than that, bro. I no know rap. motherfuckers that'll claim. Imagine if you six oh, nine oh, with, oh, with, with, a, with, with, with damn near fifth. a million. Yo. I know, the, but, I know the but, same people you But the know. dumb thing is, is Yo. that is that you tie yourself to that. Like 6 9 So you tie yourself to that situation, and then you get locked the fuck up. So now your only out is to say, he listen, did it. <laughs> that shit is retarded, bro. That motherfuckers are Stupid, right. bro. I'm a grown-ass man, listen. bro. At the end of the day, if you want to handle your shit, who, why the fuck am I going to pay so-and-so to go sit handle that situation, and then after he handle it, I'm going to go get on the stand? Like, nah, bro. I'm cool, bro. Cool. All uh, right. That's you. Me? Cool, bro. He he cool my book. He cool my book. That's what well, that was the question. You know why? You know why? And I ain't taking it personal because fuck the, him and fuck everybody else. I don't you know give a why? fuck about nothing. I none ain't of that write shit. the gangster book. Me because either. I'm not oh, like I said, I'm not from the streets. Talk about. But I know 
Yo, I can ask Big Bill. He can tell me some people are chill around as rats right now. Facts. There's a lot of rats. So, out here. so I'm not gonna get. We're not gonna get too deep into rats. To me, it's about. Oh, who- we're not gonna get too deep into rats if we're gonna keep it all the way to the grease. And I'm a grease type of dude. <laughs> I'm a grease type of dude. We're not gonna keep it all the way to the grease if we're gonna grease it. But you can't. But you can't no. put yourself in a situation and and then double back. I'm not back, double back. Cornerback. I, I, I fuck with six nine. I'm fucking with him when he come home. There's no doubling back. I fuck with Troy F. Troy F. I fuck with him when he come home. He ran. Troy F. Shot them niggas. He go right over the niggas. He's gonna he gonna say they robbed him when the court case come up in September. Oh, so yeah. what's what's that situation? Because I don't know it. Okay. Tax stone and them. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. We, well, we ain't gonna talk about shit. Tax stone and them allegedly tried to rob Troy Ev at the fucking show, and he took beat them the fuck up and took their gun and shot them dead. That's different. That's a different situation. My man Tax Stone was the only one to live. My man was on the scene. Yeah, you know I mean, that's different. Regardless of the situation. He has to rat on them niggas for trying ain't, to rob him. Ain't no ratting. You, it's, that's, I like that you said that. He's so on the scene. So tax stone ain't ratting. But the whole industry think that tax stone ratting. Tax I'm not talking about tax stone. I'm talking about Troy. He was on no, the scene. No, Troy Ev. I'm sorry. My bad. Troy Ev. You ain't rat. You ain't a rat to me. I don't know. I don't know the whole specifics behind that. But I know if somebody try to rob me and I shoot them, I'm cops. licensed. You want to call the cops? Well, if if bull dead in my shit, you gonna call the cops. yeah, hell yeah, I'm calling the cops, bro. Like, yeah, for sure. You're not gonna say you're gonna say go he tried to rob you. If he dead, uh, yes, for sure. Okay. Get that out <laughs> of the way. So is that right? No, because he he is a rat. <laughs> I understand. And, and I'm not a street dude. So Where's if somebody tries, if somebody Where? tries to rob Where's me, the rat in that? if somebody tries to rob me. And he got a gun on me, and I pull my shit out. Boom, boom. He go down. Yes, he tried to rob me. Fuck, fucking right. It's a rap. So where does rap come into play? At? Uh, when you call a hit on 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 so and so, and then now it's uh, now it's an indictment, and now you saying, nah, he did it. He did it. Pointing fingers. I'm not pointing fingers at a dead man that tried to rob me. That's different. That's not rat. It's definitely not rat. You feel me? I feel you. But it's the same thing. Bro. And I'm talking about... Uh, you, we, you said that nigga dead. He came to New York and said that nigga dead. Well, listen. They yeah, on some they other shot shit. At him. Than, they on some other shit than me. We not going to get into all that bullshit. But that no, I'm thing. getting into it. I know. I'm Hold a grown on, man. I'm going to say this on the podcast right now. Before he come out, he come out in August. So there's six months before, the, before we even get to August. So I want to be right again. <laughs> I, Let's be right again. I just my whole thing Let's was check me right again. Let's check like six nine. What <laughs> six nine before he comes out? I honestly was hoping with. that you didn't like him anymore, dog. You know why I'm fucking with six nine? <laughs> because he did shit that these other turtles were scared to do. <laughs> I don't care if he read it later, but while he was doing it, and while he was on a gangster mode, he was doing <laughs> shit. He wasn't checking in. Fuck y'all niggas. One thing I'll say is a precedent, though. This is a precedent moment with well, 6 9 is, Well, Roddy Rich a, is the same thing. But this, is a, this is a rapper rat that's going to come home, like known rat that's going to come home and try to be a rapper again. 50 Cent ratted on the whole Irv Gotti. I'm about to be with Irv but, Gotti on Saturday. He but, ratted on everybody. But that's speculation. No, that's not speculation. He has facts. No, it is speculation, bro. Because, listen. I'm going to have to call Irv Gotti on this podcast. What about for that? Don't do that. We, we, we'll we we'll set that shit up on a different time. Different time? <laughs> yeah, because you don't want to put him on a spot. I'll put him on a spot. Irv Gotti. We live. Me. We live from the 215. You can call me but, rat. You can call me whatever you want to call me. Listen, Irv I, Gotti told me personally, and he told the whole world personally, 50 Cent ride it on Irv Gotti and them for stabbing him. With the pocket, with the fucking... Butter knife. I heard they about They stabbed it. him in the studio but, like four to five times. 
50 Cent got a restraining order and ratted on them niggas. That's a fact. I'll be with Alexis Texas. Alexis Texas is best friends with Irv Gotti. Irv Gotti will be in Philly <laughs> next week, the 18th. No. This is not a. This is a fact. I don't speak anything Let's shoot but shot. facts. This is facts. Shout out to my man Irv Gotti. Shout out to Shoot Your Shot Podcast. Shout out to Alexis Texas. I love all three of y'all. Shout. And 50 Cent. Yo, I shout out Lex. Shout out Lex, though. 50 Cent, I fuck with you too. But we're not going to knock my man and act like you ain't do the same thing. Listen, I need to Cent. see all the I facts. Grew up on, and I, I grew up on 50 Cent. See, the thing, the difference is we need to see TMZ telling us that. Nowadays, I don't need to see TMZ telling us that. But I don't na- need a media outlet telling me no, nothing. No, but nowadays, that motherfucker read it. I know for a fact he told the cops, "Please protect me from Irv Gotti." But that, but and I, Supreme. But, but my point is, at the time, that wasn't the issue with Fifth, and there wasn't enough media. But it wasn't well, enough well, real time. But now there is. So yeah. So so, 50, hold, so it's a hold, known hold, fact. Time out, time out. If that same situation with 50 Cent and Ja Rule would have happened now, Ja Rule would be 50 Cent and 50 Cent would be Ja Rule. But let me tell you, let me ask That's you a, a question. Fact. Let me ask you, you something. You know why I say that? Because Ja Rule and them stabbed up 50 Cent a million times. Ja Rule and them shot 50 Cent a million times. Fucking Ja Rule and them did everything to 50 Cent and 50 Cent just made hot records. Did anybody really get locked up for that situation, though? No, one nigga died from it. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, look, man. 50, I don't know. They, they don't say that about 50. Homo got shot like me. He got shot down. See, the thing about 50, that's what I like about 50 now. I love Irv Gotti. That's my personal guy. But the thing I like about 50 is he always kept it real in them raps. Yo, 50 gave it so real to you in them raps. You could be a kid from Wisconsin, from fucking Wisconsin and know what was going on in the heart of Jamaican Queens. Not even that. He just had good-ass songs at the end of the day. No. The fucking first three albums were out of control. Fuck the good songs. He said, Homo got shot like me and... Three months later, he got shot down. It's here. I'm clear for a real reason. He got hit like I got hit, but he ain't fucking breathing. Yeah, but in the club, they were, I mean, in Wisconsin, they were like, you can find me in the club. No, nah, in Wisconsin, no, in Wisconsin, it was like, and then they were like, many men. No, nah, but then they were like, God death upon me. Then they were like, Lord just, a, just a little bit. Just a little nah, bit. Wisconsin was rapping that gangster shit, too. I don't, I don't fucking know. Well, shout, shout out to Wisconsin. Was, I, that shit cold as shit. <laughs> I hate to do this, though. Because 50. Hold on. So, I love you, 50. Yeah, listen. I and, love you, 50. And Irv, that's my listen brother. Listen to me. All that shit, bro, is like... If, Irv if, didn't... If Yo, it was supposed to be exposed, it would have been exposed. Time out. But listen, but I'm listen. on camera, so I got to say this one time. Last time, first time, and only time I'm going to say it. Irv Gotti was the first person to put me in the Rolls Royce. That motherfucker, I love him to death for the rest of my life. Listen, I don't believe that you, you, know, you don't know what you're saying, but... At the, end, at, the end, about, at the end, at the end of the part, day, this at, is a fact. I got video. I put at it the, on this fucking podcast right at here. At the end of the I got day, the video still. Well, then Irv the, Gotti was the first person to ever well, put me in the Rolls Royce. But Shout they, out to Irv Gotti. Oh no, I, I'm not talking about that. I believe you on that. I'm talking about the whole rat situation. But at, my question at, at the end of the day was, you, um, when Six Nine comes home, do you think he is still his music still going to be relevant? Is he going to be like? Is he gonna be in that in that same lane as everybody else? Like, is he really gonna be what he was, like Fifi, like, or what? What, what do you think? So that's what I, I don't think. know. I don't so know if they're gonna respect. Ask you what does rap mean? Hmm. What does rap mean? What does rap mean? Yeah. Like, like rap. Rat. Oh, rat. Yeah. That means you you ratted on somebody. You that's snitched. what that means to you. Yeah, you like. What you, does that like, mean? There was a case, and you were sat on the stand and. Boom. What you does that mean to my little sister? How old is your little sister? 19. Yeah, he's a rat. That's it. That <laughs> mean something to her? I'm pretty sure. I don't think so. 
Well, well, all right, so, I, so your point is that the younger generation doesn't have no consideration for rats. Why would they? I mean, I don't know, but he was making street music before he went, he, he ratted. Now, that's the key. I like the music that he was making. You like the I, street shit. I like the street music he right. was making because I knew they couldn't fuck with him, and I knew he didn't have to check in nowhere, and I knew he could tell so, them to so suck what's he, they did. So what's he going to do now, though? That's the key. Right. All the other shit, I don't care about. What's he going to do now when he, has to, when he has to go to Houston for a show? He got to go to L.A. for a show. He got to come to he New York. He's going to security. He going to have, like, like, so, all right, so it's going to be Drake stamps. Security. So is he got breath for that? Or Who somebody, somebody going to foot it? What's going to happen? Who cares? Nobody's about life anyway, Jim. I'm just, bro, I'm just trying to figure this shit out. My question was, what's going to happen when he comes home? We don't know. You feel me? Listen, nobody's about that life anyway. Like, we talk about 6 and 9 right now. We talk about, all right, so, all right. But they were about right, that life right, when they were right, shooting right, at right, Chief right, Keith, right? I got a better example for you. Rowdy, Bobby and Rowdy kept it 100 and took the stand and fucking held it down for each other and, and split the 14 years. They did seven apiece. Wait, they hold took on, a, they hold took Roddy? A, Rowdy Rich and Bobby Schmurder. They were in the same... That was the same shit? Yes. Oh, for real? Absolutely. Oh, I ain't know that. That's new. Well, let me explain it to you. That was the same case type shit? The same case. That's new. Who cares who killed who? I don't. I don't give a fuck. At the end of the day, we not... Yeah, that's all speculation. At the the end of the day... Hold on, what was it? Fuck the speculation talk over. Nigga, dig this. I'm I'm about the sun... Like a soda, make Jake to the moi. Get his lips on his nine and really kiss the game goodbye. You about to really make me hurt you, niggas. <laughs> yeah, Woo! shout out to Beans. Shout out to Beans. You get me right in my bucket. That was the prime time. Like, that's when the rap was like rap. Like, Yo. What's all this weird shit going on? Yo. <laughs> and now if it was if it was for 2005 I'd be like yo fucking son of rat like he a fucking turtle <laughs> niggas is dressing in tight pants and fucking sucking dick on the low oh, you're talking no. about fucking rats these niggas is fucking not even men you are talking about rats these niggas is fucking wearing tight ass pants with purses and all the weird shit and we're talking about rats you're talking about street ass niggas that was calling hits on people and we're calling them rats. Well, and we're not I even talking like, about the dudes that's fucking other dudes. Yeah, but rats supersedes all that at the end of no. the day. In the streets, dudes I think it's fucking does. other dudes that's fucking superseding everything. Yeah, but who's promoting that? I know TMZ promoting the rat shit. No one promoting dudes fucking other dudes. So that's my point. You feel me? That's I know point. a lot of people promote this emo shit that's killing my vibe. Yeah, but that don't, that don't mean dudes fucking other dudes, bro. What does that mean to and, you? And what does that mean to em- you? Well, who's promoting emo shit, first oh. off? Well, we're not going to get into that. I ain't going to sp- specify. Right, well, I don't know what you're talking turtles. about. turtles. Well, hey, if they doing it, listen. We ain't disrespecting no gay shit or none of that shit. I'm disrespecting that weird shit. Dog, yo, listen. To, actually, <laughs> let me take a better approach. That's you I don't gay, I don't cool. know where we going with this. But you gay, you cool. Just don't be around me. You rat, you cool. I ain't with all the fuck shit. So is is right, Six Nine my guy it. though. Six Nine my guy. Check. You don't want that meme, bro. You can meet me. I'm cool with that. Like, I'm real comfortable with myself. Y'all can't beat me. You want that That's meme? The, yes, I want it. I'm fucking with 6 9 You know what I'm saying? Y'all, oh. nigg- y'all niggas fuck with Hold up. Oh! Before we do the dumb shit. Oh! Hey, you know, out of the box! You know, it's funny. We, we weren't even going to kill this because... With the coronavirus and our immune systems yeah. and all the kinky shit, but we still killed it anyway. Yeah, we trying to keep it, you know what I mean? Let's get it, man. Fuck but, all the yeah. kinky shit. Oh. That's all right. It wasn't that Damn, much. Damn, what's all the shit on the table? I don't know. Shit got real. But look. Shit real. I know I'm bagging a whole brick fill. Shout out to Cassie. Yeah, shout out to Shoot Your Shot, bro. Shout out to Shoot Your Shot. <laughs> shoot Your Shot. Last shot. <laughs> We 
Shout out to JR, my guy, hooking us up with this peach crown royal. We kill cause... bottles effortlessly. Now, I don't even mean to kill bottles, but we kill them. Yo, if you can find this shit, let me know. Because this shit on some exclusive limited edition So, hold on, shit. real quick. Are you fucking with 6 9 yes or no? Nah, because I ain't fucking with them from the rip. Like, musically, you know. Do you fuck with Chief uh, Trippy Rap? Sometimes. So you ain't listen to none of them rappers, so your opinion don't count. No, nah, that's not true at all. I fuck with some of Trippy Red's songs. And I listen what to a lot of six. you fuck with? I fucked with his last album. It was all right. He 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 give me a vibe. Listen, I respect a lot of these drums. Six nine, I heard his music, bro. The why only you, you know why you listen to his music and not Trippy Red's? No, that's not the point. Hold on, hold on, but hold on. why you listen to his music and not Trippy Red's? He was more popping at the time. You. Yes, you're right. There. You're right. Let's but listen, but listen oh, to this. Let's start there. All right, now well, let's start with I need a hit. And we that's where we've been from the rip. I and, need and a he hit. He had those for you. Yes. Trippy Red, I need a hit. Every any rapper, I Trippy need a Red hit. I got a couple hits for you. Who? Trippy Red. Which one? In my life, in my life, Listen, I need I don't, a bitch that's sucking pipe, that's sucking I don't, pipe. I don't dislike Trippy Red, but he wasn't on number one rap caviar. No, he got some hits, though. He do. Shout out to Trippy Red. I fuck with you, bro. You you got a sound that no one else got at the end of the day, and that's why I like you. But, <laughs> hey, you know they're on the same label. They were on the same label, by the way. That's why they were beefing, bro. Right. It's some bullshit. But regardless, bro, like I, when he come home, when 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 six nine come home, I didn't rock with him from the rip. The only song I really liked was Fifi at the end of the day. You know what song? And I when like? he come out with another Fifi, BB Simon, feels like a yeah, you diamond. did. But why'd you like I had that? BB Simon on but, but, right hold now. Hold on, hold on, time out. But but why did you like that? Because it's because some gangster it's shit. Gangster shit. But now he a rat. So what the fuck you want to like about that now? You're not, bro. No, I don't care. No, nah, th- th- I didn't think he was a gangster to begin with. He not. He couldn't beat me. But that was the the whole vibe. But he had gangsters around him. Why are you, you standing he, up? Do you think? <laughs> hold on. Do you think six guys would come out of jail with no gangsters around him? I don't know what, what the $10 fuck. That's, that was the question. What's he gonna do? Hold on. Do you think six thousand gonna come out of jail with no gangsters around? I don't know what he's gonna do, bro. He at this come point. out with the crips around him. First off, point. first off, you wanna have gangsters around you? Who? Who's gonna be around you? That's a real gangster that that said he snitched. Like who? Who's really gonna be around you, bro? B- besides security that he pays a hundred grand a year for. Listen. No. This motherfucker got ten million dollars. Right, but real gang, real. Gangsta is going to be around him when he's a well-known snitch. Oh, my God. Hear me out. Listen. The only snitches we know right. that got locked up was Frank Lucas and them, and they right. gone forever. Let me give you a bit. He a real snitch. L- l- let, me, let me simplify it for all the working people out there. Listen, I'm Yo, a work. Oh, hold on. I'm a working people. Right. Let me I'm know. Said that. But I know right. snitching ain't cool right. at the end of the Yo, day. Yo, Amazon fires people after every 30 days, but you can make a fucking 10 grand in 30 days. Wait, what? Let me explain. Elaborate, that to you. please. Let me, let me let me explain that to you again. Amazon fires people after thirty days, but you can make ten grand in thirty days. Yeah. Who can make ten grand in thirty days? The average person. How? By working for them. Same thing with six nine. Who's making thirty grand? A, who's making ten grand a month? So now, the, now what? Now, the now, deliveries? Now, now let me bring him back. I don't know. I'm no, trying no, to figure no, it out. Let me bring him back. Six nine may rattle you, but you'll fucking be with six nine for fucking a month straight, and you fucking will get all types of bread for shooting at whoever the fuck you're gonna shoot at. Are you gonna do it? Yes or no? I'm not. No, because I don't do that. I'm just not my. Lady. I'm not talking about you. I'm about the <laughs> average gangster. Yes, he'll find some security at Thank the end you. of the day. That's the point I'm trying to make. But it's not going to be gangster security. It's going to be no. legit security. Like, yeah, they're going to find some legit security, yeah. and you're going to find some gangster security. Why uh, wouldn't you work for 6 9 He ratted, of course. This, yo, Frank Lucas ratted. He's in jail right now. Listen, listen. Frank Lucas ratted. He's in jail right now. He's not dead. 
Frank Lucas is in jail right now. He he fucking popped out in the 80s. That's 20 years ago. He's probably 60-something right now. But he's probably running the block. No. Nah, no shot, bro. Yo. He's running the block from, from a life sentence forever? You think he's running the block? Frank Lucas? Yes, bro. That was in his 70s, bro. Like, we talking about 2020. We talking about 50 years, bro. You got to be kidding me. If you think Frank Lucas ain't running the fucking block and he's got no spots. I don't know, bro. All right, fuck Man, that. If he is, my bad. Fuck All that. Right. Let's talk about Supreme. <laughs> Supreme. With this Irv Gotti and 50 Cent shit. Once again, we'll bring it back home. Ratted on the whole crew. Supreme. Greatest dude. Biggest drug dealer in fucking New York. Cool. Beans. Bro. That motherfucker's running the jails. Supreme, you go to a jail the Supreme's at right now. That motherfuckers, you're not, yo, you don't fuck with Supreme, you're not pass and go. Hey, man, I don't know, bro. I'm telling, don't, let's That's not, cool. let's not guess. But look, I'm my whole point you. was, fuck all that, because I don't even know what the fuck that situation is. But my whole point is, when 6 9 comes out, whatever month, Whatever. He's gonna have some arm security and But wait, is he listen. coming out? Is he gonna drop a song or what? What's all right, he doing? Hold on, hold on, hear me out. What's he doing? Listen, fuck all that. Let's get to the basics. Let me let's break it down even simpler. I tried to break it down as simple as possible. Six and I is gonna get out, he can call me, and I'll smack the shit out of any one of y'all that got a problem. Simple. For the right amount of right. price. That's a security situation. Simple. So with that being said, That's I fun. have no picks. I don't but care. But are the fans still going to... I don't care. We're not doing no drug deals together. I don't trust 6 9 to fucking sell me no fucking perks or no fucking weed. Like, what are y'all talking about? Like, this motherfucker is about to... You got a $10 million deal, deal on the table. And y'all fucking talking about... Oh, you ratted. Your man rats every fucking day. Like, y'all got to be kidding me. It, like, bothers me when I know the people that were... We're talking about like the people that that people that really even 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 like it despise the situation like it's like fucking crazy to me and like especially especially people from Basel that look up to the same turtles that fucking ratted on the whole hood on Richland Road I'm not even gonna get into that but these motherfuckers be ratting. I don't know what you're talking about. But, look. <laughs> yeah, you just want to give me my bag. Yeah, hey, I know. But, look. <laughs> listen, bro. At the end of the day. You want to give me my fucking bag. Don't give me my fucking bag. Because I know the only people that's going to be hating on this podcast is the people that I'm talking about. <laughs> so, you fucking ratted on the whole hood. And I know you. And I know who you are. And I'm still rocking with you. Same thing I would do with six nine, cause I don't care. I don't, I'm a I'm a law abiding citizen. I get money, a lot of money for my job. Facts. So so basically, you saying that? And I'll smack the shit out you if six nine tell me to. And he gave you that bag. <laughs> and he gave me that bag. Yo, I swear to God, I will hunt down any of y'all niggas for ten grand. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Any of y'all niggas. Any of y'all niggas for ten grand. Six nine, put that ten grand up. I'm hunting y'all down, y'all fucking pussy. I'm coming at you. Well, listen, we're not promoting the uh, <laughs> violence in this joint, all right? So uh, I'm just joking. Yeah. We're gonna cut that out, actually. No, we're not. But look, <laughs> yo, we off this. It's been an hour. Yeah, I let you guys. I know. The bottle the over. The bottle done. I let y'all guys just don't be on my man six nine's dick. That's it. My guy. Shout out to everybody but 6 ix 9 <laughs> Shout out to everybody, including 6 9 But look, man, it's, it's Shoot Your Shot, episode 5. Shoot Co- Your Shot, it's, dickhead! It's Friday the 13th. Coronavirus is, is fucked up. A whole shit crazy in this gym. easy drum. hour. Yeah, so look, man. Food shoot- bottle kill. Right, we didn't even want to do it. We were, we were trying to save our immune systems, but... 
It is what it is. We're gonna be alright. You know what I mean? You're you gonna be alright too. So holla at your boy. Holla at your boy. Shoot your shot.